Hey guys, Billy Game here and welcome to today's video. I'm with my good friend Manny, Manny on the map. Um, and we're here, we're doing a very special kind of video that we've never never done before. We're literally just going to chat shit. And freestyle basically. And freestyle, so this is completely off the cuff. Uh, kind of like our shield video, which me and Scott done, of how we book. But literally, we're going to discuss our top three favourite WWE matches of all time. And kind of the stories behind... <coughs> how we first watched them and kind of why we like them. So does that have to be just WWE? Can it be? Anything? It can be anything okay. if you want, mate. Yep, that's fine. Literally, that's so top three kind of wrestling, our top three favorite wrestling matches of all time. Yeah, hope you enjoy. Let's do this. We've got kind of Budweiser's here as well. We're yeah. just we're just chilling. We're chilling. We're just chilling, chilling like a villain. So that's just, oh, talking about villains. <laughs> so the other day, yeah. <coughs> the other day I tweeted uh, Mike's girl uh, a photo. Because I was dressed up as him, I was at a Halloween party. Mm -hmm. I'll probably put the picture, I'll edit in the picture somewhere. And he actually liked my tweet, and I was literally, I got a massive boner. Um, it was the best day of my life. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bully cop! <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Um, so let's get to it. Manny, what is your kind of, no particular order? Go uh, for it. Right, my first one um, is going to be Goldberg versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan in WCW. Wow, okay. I think this was a really, really good match. Um, is this where he first won the belt? First won the belt, and okay, he became so the first was, undefeated. So it was on Nitro as well, wasn't it? Yes. I believe, if my sources are correct. Mm, uh, yeah, I was a massive, don't get me wrong, I like WWF, but I was a big WCW fan, and I got brought into wrestling on WCW. Same here. And, um, uh, Channel 5, I believe, Yes. is when I first started yes. watching wrestling. Yes. On a Friday night. <laughs> Indeed, you know, and um, yeah, this was a really good match purely because NWO was literally running things and um, Hogan looked untouchable. Yep. And then Goldberg came through undefeated streak, and yeah, he was the first person to be um, an undisputed champ, and he was also the US champion. Uh, Can you believe I remember that. if you go on YouTube and watch the match or WWE Network? Yep. Um, this this match, the whole stadium was absolutely electric. It was crazy, mm. and I can't believe they gave away a match like that for free. Yeah. On TNT. On on yeah on cable on cable television. Which is like, one of their downfalls. That, that, that could have that could have made so much money <coughs> like through ticket sales and I I remember watching that match actually because yeah. I growing up Goldberg was my first kind of like mm. my first favorite wrestler. He just looked like um, a fucking beast. He came he, out with the police guards and that. It's like, yeah. oh, he's breathing in the smoke and blowing it out. Like, he was, he was, a, he was an absolute beast. He really was. Beast. And like, at the time, where where I was kind of, so I agree with you. Like, he, when I was young, I couldn't kind of. The reason these matches went for like a couple of minutes is because he couldn't actually wrestle. <laughs> he was just all offense, <laughs> just offense, like all like literally and kind of. Um, he couldn't really wrestle. He just done like power moves and power shit like moves, that. And yeah. it was like, it, you know, he, he, he. I suppose it was his oppositions, his opponents that made him look good. Yeah. Kind of in a way, but yeah, no, that was. He could yeah. only go for a maximum of five minutes, I think. Yeah. Yeah. Before he was like, he but it suited got... his character though, because he was so big, you wouldn't expect totally, it to totally. last. So it was clever. It's clever on WCW's part. Mm. There's a lot of things I can say on WCW and how they fucked up, but that's a video for another time. That is indeed. That is indeed. <laughs> that's a story for another for another oh, there day. You go. Um, okay, so okay, my first kind of one of my favourite matches ever was um, Royal Rumble 2000. Cactus Jack against <coughs> Triple H. Uh, street fight. Oh, street fight. Street fight for the for the WWF E uh, World Title. Um, yeah, it was the first ever kind of WWE pay per view that I ever watched. I remember my mate Lewis Kennedy. Shout out to to Lewis. Um, I haven't seen you for a couple of years, mate, but hope you're doing okay. Um, I his mum taped this off of Channel Four. I'm oh, serious. And I went round his house and I watched it. And the, the the fucking the pay per view was immense. So you had the table match between the Hardys and Dudleys. Yeah. Obviously the actual Royal <coughs> Rumble match where the Rock won. Mm -hmm. um, that was awesome. Uh, and yeah, like literally, this 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 kind of co-main event, Triple H against Cat, uh, 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 Triple H against the Cactus Jack, it had everything. It, it told the it told a story so well, and kind of the you know they got the it was violent, 
it was it was entertaining. It was yeah. so good. Not and, just PG bollocks to live by now. And like literally, yeah, like they got the fun tax out. They got the 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 two by four wrapped in barbed wire. It was it was Foley it, was fucked when it came to that. Yeah, it was it was amazing, and that's kind of one of my favorite matches of all time. Do you know how he lost half of his head? Do you know the story? Yeah, he got, got it. That? He got it caught in, in, in the ropes. In WCW, yeah, because yeah. they had real cable as their ropes. Mm. And he got it caught. Yeah, he got it because he had to like rip his head out, didn't he? I think. Uh, out of the ropes because he got his rope, his head caught. Yeah, um, it. yeah, it literally, yeah, it kind of like. Obviously, I was watching wrestling beforehand, but that was WCW. But <laughs> watching watching that match and that pay per view, the Royal Rumble two thousand. Yeah. Um, so at the time I was eleven, <coughs> twelve at the time. Sham, sham my age now. Um, that 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 pay per view that that kind of grabbed my attention onto onto the you know the product of, of WWE or F at the time, um, and I just I, as a kid I was like, wow, that's amazing. Even the table match between Hardys and Dudleys, mm. like it just grabbed my attention straight away, and it was like, yeah, this this shit is cool, and that kind of that's what made me love, kind of wrestling, to be honest. Fair so enough, yeah, fair so yeah. <coughs> Should I go? Should I go? Yeah, go for it. How many are we doing? As many as possible. We can do f as as many as you could. Well, we do top many, three, but if you can think of any, yeah, okay. see, yeah, see how it goes. But. Um, my next one um is another WCW one, um. It's going to be one of my favourite wrestlers who I feel was very underrated and ahead of his time. Vampiro mm. against Sting, a burning torch match. Oh, okay. Now, I've never seen this you've match. You've never seen this? No. This match was absolutely <laughs> crazy. Like, literally, you've got two people beating each other up. Basically, yeah, the point of the match was the winner, you set them alight. Now, obviously, Sting had a stun double when he did get, <laughs> he did get set alight. But what I liked about this, it was a good win for Vampiro, who I feel was it's, undervalued. He's very underrated. In, in WCW. Yeah, very and like I said, I feel it was ahead of his time. Because, I don't know if you know this, when WCW got brought by uh, WWF, mm. Stephanie McMahon wanted Vampiro in WWF. Mm. But Vamp himself said that he got a call and they said they didn't know what to do with his character. With him, with him, yeah. And I find that hard to... Well, why? Because nowadays you've got Bray Wyatt who copied him... With the House of um, Horrors. Horrors match, Vampiro yeah. already did that in the graveyard match with the demon. You got mm. Finn Balor as the demon. You know, got all the Gangrel, all these Gang characters. Yeah, I was about to say Gangrel. They actually. could have done so many things with Vampiro, and yeah. I think they kind of fucked up with that. So yeah, they definitely dropped the ball on that one. But yeah, this this match was really good. As I said, Vampiro had a graveyard match. He had this match. If you like matches that are a bit different and a bit you know fucked up. WWE Network, Vampiro, watch some of these matches, really mm. underrated. I, I remember watching him as a kid actually, on, uh, when, I, when I used to watch so cool. the, like, WCW. Yeah, um, yeah. <coughs> very, very out there, very kind of different, mm. which is which is sometimes a good thing. Mm. Um, and um, also, uh, sadly, he was only he only won one title in WCW, do you know what that was? Tag team title, and he held it for 24 hours. Wow. That's how badly they fucked him over in WCW. <laughs> Bastards. <laughs> but yeah, there you go. Okay. But it's like Lucha Underground now, so it's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Uh, my next match is going to be... Um, <laughs> Scott and Gary are going to pop a light going, Oh, I fucking knew it. Um, <laughs> uh, I think it was uh, Money in the Bank, 2011. Yeah. John Cena against CM, CM Punk. Punk. Yeah. Um, what, like, what a match. Was this the one in his hometown? Yeah, in yeah. Chicago, Illinois. Yeah. The fans went fucking mental for for CM Punk. Um, the build up to this as well is some of the best, best promos. promos ever. So this is where kind of you know CM Punk dropped the pipe bomb in a, on the Raw uh, edition in Las Vegas, um, <coughs> which is kind of like where he went off script. Legendary. He literally got a. He, they gave him an open mic, and he just obviously aired his grievances before getting cut off. Yeah, uh, cause, uh, yeah, it was kind of like yeah, you've gone too far now. <laughs> um, but it was it was kind of that's when I kind of fell in love with wrestling again. So I didn't watch wrestling from about two thousand three, two thousand four, kind of onwards, and I st I, st I started watching it back. I think it was like two thousand nine. Oh really? Yeah, I started like rewatching it. Um, and yeah, when 2011 come around, even like the stuff, CM Punk stuff with uh, on SmackDown with Jeff Hardy and the Straight Edge Society, like even then I was like, yeah, yeah, but I still hated him. 
Um, but yeah, literally, it was kind of like that whole promo where it's like, yeah, my contract, July 17th, my contact, contract is, it comes to an end and I'm walking out with, with the title. And I'm like, what? <laughs> like, I remember it's like, talking to, to Gary about it and I'm like, dude, this is like Bret Hart all over again mm. uh, with a Montreal kind of screwdriver. Didn't he turn up in Ring of Honor with the actual championship? Or yeah. So, did, yeah. yeah. He's, he's a don. Like, <laughs> fucking, he's a don. It's, it's crazy. Um, so, yeah, so li literally like kind of, I I, I I was hooked and I was like, I, well, I need to, yeah, it, that's the thing, that's when, when wrestling is good, it's yeah. fucking awesome. But nine times out of ten, wrestling is just kind of shit. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Um, but like, yeah, I was hooked, and it was kind of like, wow, I've got to tune in next week to see, see what he does. to see what he does. Because yeah. after, as soon as you know, the, he walked out, the, walked out with a belt, uh, money in the bank, and it was like literally, you got, to, you got to tune in the next night to see what they're gonna do. Because yeah. it's like they haven't got a fucking champ. And in the end, didn't they make Cena have a replica one? Yeah, so yeah. they had a tournament. <laughs> they had a tournament which um, <coughs> which Rey Mysterio won, I believe. And then John Cena had his rematch, and then Cena won, and then that's when Punk returned with his new music, and it was like, hold on a minute, who's this? Because cult of personality hit, because um, he had um, his previous uh, music. music was yeah. uh, "This Fire Burns" by Kill Switch Engage. So cult of personality hit. Uh, by Living Colour and it was like who the fuck's this yeah. and then Punk just walks out with the belt and oh my god it was, it was just amazing but yeah going back to the actual Money in the Bank match he had everything the atmosphere was fucking it had everything there was decent spots in it like it was <coughs> it was literally the easiest easy, easiest best match of that year by, by, by a long way I think it even got five stars by Dave Meltzer Wow, that's saying something. It got that. It got five stars. That's saying something. Um, and that was the first time like a WWE match got five stars in a long time. I think it was the like, last one was like take <coughs> take a Shawn Michaels. I think at Mania. No, so probably started about twenty times before he gave it five stars. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. Um, so yeah, that's literally that's that's another one of my favorite matches is, is CM Punk against John Cena. That atmosphere. Though. I remember because I I was like you. I stopped watching wrestling between I think two thousand seven to. 2016, oh, okay. and then uh, my mate Hazzy, big up Hazzy, he said to me, Oh, you gotta watch CM Punk, you know, these matches with Cena, blah blah blah. He showed me a clip, so good. The atmosphere was like an ECW crowd. Mm. The way Cena came out, I've he only seen him booed. I think it was even worse than One Night Stand, ECW yeah. One Night Stand, and that was fucking hilarious. Can I just say, <laughs> you mm. can't wrestle, but yeah, yeah. Um, that's the thing, like, there was so the fans <laughs> were, were into it, and that's what obviously makes <coughs> it special as yes. well. And yeah, it was just yeah, it was just really good. It was such a good match. Can I just say, my, my mate has it as a. He told me once. He's got a fair point. Like when you watch wrestling nowadays, the arena is colourful. People got colourful shirts. But if you watch that attitude era and WCW like Nitro era, mm. the arenas were dark. Mm. You know, the crowds mm. were like really hyped, drunk, throwing toilet paper and shit. Mm. It was really good. But nowadays, it's just it hasn't got that same. Yeah. They just say, "Oh, you deserve it," and you uh, still yeah, got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, um, yeah. Mm. Like I went to um, so W <coughs> what culture pro wrestling. Mm. Um, I I got tickets to it. I think I, it was April this year. Um, so a good few months ago, I went. I went with uh, the London show um, with uh, <coughs> Gary, <coughs> and the the arena was kind of. It was. I think it was like it used to be like a nightclub or something. The the venue. Um, it was in where was it? It was near Elephant and Castle, and the, the 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 venue was so small and compact. But again, it was like you were saying, yeah. it was it was dark, dark, and it was kind of like, and they put on such a good show. Like well, uh, like some of the matches there were, were pretty good. Like Will Ospreay was there in a tag team match. Um, <coughs> yeah, really, really good, really good. So, but yeah, so that's that's my kind of my other match, one of my one of my top three, kind of of all time. Yeah. Right, my turn. So, is this my last one? Right. This is hard, you know, because I'm thinking of two in my head. Right. I'm going to go with The Rock versus Hollywood Hulk Hogan at WrestleMania. Was it WrestleMania 20? No, it was WrestleMania 18. 18. I believe. 18, yes, because 17 was the one just where after they bought WCW. Where right. Stone Cold turned heel. Yes. 
I'm going I'm gonna go with that. Basically, I think that was a really good match. The crowd again, like, again, the, the atmosphere yeah. was fucking mad because you had the legend that is Hogan against the current big thing. He was the top baby face at the time. Yes, and I think it's the crowd forced the the, the baby face turn mm. for Hogan because I think they kind of they <coughs> they called it on the flyer in 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 the match because the crowd was split. Yeah, at one point because the Rock kind of started to. Dude, his Hollywood gimmick, which is fucking hilarious. Yeah, the Hill rock. rock yeah, is funny the as rock. Fuck. The rock kind of. The fans kind of forced the rock to play the hill part, mm. even though he wasn't a hill at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's like, that's the power of the fans and like the. Stop messaging him. We're doing a video. <laughs> that's the magic of it. Um, that's why people carry. On. I'm just so funny. It's Dave Meltzer. He's just, you know. <laughs> Stop it, Dave. I'll text you in a minute. <laughs> oh, I said it really can. <laughs> <laughs> Don't Dave, carry. stop it, Dave. <laughs> stop you, Dave. Uh, <laughs> carry on. He, 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 he just messaged me his predictions for, for Survivor Series. <laughs> Let's put it out. <laughs> Probably like another 20 is going to come through because he stutters and mumbles a lot. Mm. But yeah. Um, <laughs> mm. Yeah, where were we? Yeah, it was a really good match. Yeah, the was. crowd was split. Again, the atmosphere was electric. And it was a good win for The Rock because it just cemented his place as like yeah. the next don't get me wrong Stone Cold and that was were quality but The Rock that's the thing you know what it's a tough one because The Rock and Stone Cold I think personally them two put WCW out of business because mm. their charisma mm. and the way they just got the fans like hooked mm. can't can't be it he can't mate he can't it's fucking <coughs> it's mad he's mad so like so, so that WrestleMania, I, me personally, I thought it should have been Stone Cold against Hollywood Hulk Hogan for the belt because Stone Cold had a belt at the time. Mm. I think that's even though the Rock and, and, <coughs> and the Rock and Hogan was a decent match, like I, it should it should have been Stone Cold because Stone Cold was fucking that that mania. He was mid card against Scott Hall, who Scott Hall, you know, no disrespect to him, he's he's, he's a legend that you're you were Chico. wrong. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey yo. Uh, obviously he was kind of battling his own personal demons, demons yeah. at that time around that mess oh. around that mania and yeah Stone Cold got put with him in a match which was fucking shit let's be honest. Um, so yeah I, I think they should have done a Stone Cold Hulk Hogan and that's that's one of the matches that you know we we didn't get to see and that's a video for another time but yeah <laughs> there, there is missed opportunities big yeah. time big time but yeah your last pick cool uh my last match wow um it's a tough one because there's so many i've got i've got two in mind obviously but i don't want to go for the obvious one <laughs> so so one of them is is taker and Shawn michaels wrestlemania 25. Yeah. That was uh, Shawn Michaels last. No, it was the it was the the one before. No, it's so the first one. Yeah, okay. first one. Okay. So in WrestleMania twenty five, their first match was was fucking awesome. Mm. Like the amount of near falls, <coughs> even the even the the build up to it was was good. I remember like watching the roars, like leading up to it, mm. and like Shawn Michaels didn't have no fear. Yeah. You know, because the Undertaker kind of is the mind games, and he instill in he instills fear into his opponents. But like, I remember fucking Taker being at the top of the ramp at the end of Raw, and Shawn Michaels just comes out, and boom, just super kicks him and shit like that. Mm. Um, Big balls. Yeah, yeah, that was that was a, that was a fucking awesome match. Yeah. Um, but I'm gonna go for kind of one that kind of again it's at the Royal Rumble. Um, so it's Royal Rumble, I believe, 2015. So you got Brock Lesnar against John Cena and Seth Rollins. Triple threat for the belt. Uh, I haven't seen this one. Lesnar was Lesnar <coughs> was champ at the time. Right. This match was fucking amazing. WWE Network tonight. <laughs> yeah, this match is. I, I, for some reason, I just kind of. I've watched re. Well, I've watched this match so many times because it's that good. Was it part of the authority era? era? Yeah. So yeah. Seth Rollins had. Um, <coughs> it was before he cashed in. It was just before he cashed in. 
uh, at Mania. So it was the Royal Rumble before that Mania, where because. Right, right. Because <laughs> that rumble, that's where Roman Reigns won, and he got booed the fuck out of the building. Because he turned on his show, didn't he? Mm. Um, but yeah, so, so Seth Rollins, yeah, Seth Rollins had the Money in the Bank briefcase at the time, uh, and they they put so the authority put him in this match with Cena and Lesnar um, for the world title, and wow, it was it was a very good match. Um, again, so triple threat. I'm not a big fan of triple threat matches. No. No. Um, but I actually, this is one of my favourites. Obviously, that and kind of Benoit, Triple H, Shawn Michaels at Mania, um, which was fuck. That was a fucking decent triple threat. Um, so yeah, I, I would highly recommend this. So yeah, Royal Rumble. I think it's Royal Rumble 2015. Uh, one of my favourite triple threat matches ever. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna go with that. It's really, really good. It's really good. Some of the spots in that as well, like Lesnar goes through a fucking table. And then, um, so he Lesnar's on the outside, and you think he's he's done kind of thing. Uh, it's because yeah, so Seth Rollins fucking diving elbow onto Lesnar, and then obviously Cena and, and and Rollins are in the middle of the ring, and then Rollins hits a Phoenix splash, goes to goes for the pin. It's like one, two, and then out of nowhere, Dude, Lesnar no. comes in and picks up Rollins and fucking just lobs him. Like it's like a German suplex, just fuck it, and it's oh my god, it's 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 amazing. It's, oh, it's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a very good match. Um, so yeah, I think we're done. So yeah, done. hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Um, please like, share, subscribe, all that shenanigans, uh, and hopefully we'll do more videos like this for you. See ya. See ya. Peace. Did you like that video? Why am I talking like that? Please check out the rest of my previous videos. Anyway. Here's all my social media jazz, just here, so please check that out, bye!